majestic, noble, gentle, patient. These are the words that are describing the beautiful breed of Tibetan Mastiff. If you want to learn more about Tibetan Mastiff, then definitely watch this video. Hi, it's Ryan from Rocker Dog. Tibetan Mastiff is one of the most ancient and primitive dog breeds that are still alive today. They were originally bred to guard livestock and overall as great guards in Tibet. Nowadays, just like, just like almost every other breed, they are also used as great family companions. For a lot of people these dogs look terrifying, but that is because of their size. They are huge, powerful, well-built dogs and they mature very slowly, so they have long puppyhood. Their head is broad, heavy and there might be some wrinkles around eyes and mouth. Body is strong and muscular with moderately broad chest. Tibetan Mastiffs are available in a lot of colors, intense black or blue, both with or without tan markings, gold, intense fawn or to deep red, sable. All colors must be as pure as possible. Tibetan Mastiffs were bred as protectors for a long time, for centuries, so it's no wonder that even today they are very independent, strong-willed and territorial dogs and they don't like strangers very much, which makes them great watchdog also. They can be okay with strangers if they are socialized properly, but they love their family no matter what. Amazing thing about Tibetan Mastiff is that they are extremely patient and gentle with small kids. They also have normally no problem with other dogs and animals. These dogs should not live in apartment. They are very inactive outdoors. They have average or maybe a little bit higher than average need for exercise. They will love walks into countryside, into woods, but there is one limitation. They should never live in hot climate areas. Finished. You should be prepared for a very independent dog before buying Tibetan Mastiff. As I said, they were bred for centuries to guard livestock and they bond very closely to them. And nowadays they don't bond to livestock, but they bond very closely to their families, almost a fierce possessiveness. They make their own decision who is danger to them and who is their friend. Because of that, they need very strong leader, otherwise they will try and get control over every situation. Situation. They are not only possessive over their family and territory, but they are also known for being possessive over their walking routes. Because of that, it's strongly advised to change your walking route quite often. It will also keep your dog more interested. Another thing I like about this breed is their deep, beautiful bark, which they use as they wish. And, it, and they use it quite often, so be prepared for it, because your neighbors might not like it. And the thing I don't like is that they shed a lot and they drool and slobber, of course, especially after drinking and eating. Tibetan Mastiff is not for everyone. Make sure that you will have a lot of time for this type of dog because he hates to be alone and you will have to be very strong leader because of his independent personality. If you are okay with that, you will have happy, loving, gentle and patient companion. Tell me in comments if you ever own or even saw Tibetan Mastiff on your own eyes because they are very rare in my country. If you are new on this channel, consider subscribing for more videos just like this and turn the notifications on, ring the bell so you won't miss any new video. Also check our Instagram, Facebook, and links are in description. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.